Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Robinson adds wire strike protection for R-66 helicopters, Elf dies after collision with low-flying helicopter, and Gamma and Nada respond to President Trump's 2019 budget proposal. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's February 16th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Robinson added wire strike protection provisions to its R-66 options list. Available only on R-66 helicopters, the provisions are FAA certified and allow for easy bolt-on installation of Magellan's wire strike protection system, sold separately by Magellan Aerospace of Winnipeg, Canada. Robinson provisions add 7 pounds to the empty weight of the helicopter and include reinforcement and attach points on the windshield bow, roof, and chin with low-profile deflectors near the ground handling ball and forward landing gear struts. The system retails for $4,200. Magellan's R66 wire strike protection system, complete with wire deflectors and cutting blades, adds 16 pounds to the empty weight of the helicopter. The system is available as a kit compatible with Robinson factory installed provisions for $16,000 or as a complete aftermarket kit with field installable provisions for $22,800. The complete wire strike prevention system will be on display at this year's Heli Expo February 26 through March 1st in Las Vegas, Nevada. After the break, Red Bull Air Race Championship picks Hartzell Propeller for the fifth year. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Hartzell Propeller will be the 2018 Propeller Technical Partner of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship for the fifth consecutive year. Hartzell is providing its three-blade structural composite propeller, known as the CLAW, carbon fiber composite spinners, and lightweight governors to every Red Bull Air Race team. Sierra Nevada Corporation has received NASA's authority to proceed for the Dream Chaser spacecraft's first mission, with a launch window for late 2020. The mission will provide cargo resupply to the International Space Station under the Commercial Resupply Services Contract 2. A CH-53K King Stallion successfully lifted a joint light tactical vehicle during a demonstration January 18. Using the single point hook, the helicopter hovered up to 100 feet for approximately 10 minutes, while carrying the 18,870-pound vehicle. Emirates and Airbus have firmed up an earlier memorandum of understanding and signed a contract for 20 additional A380s, with a further 16 options to be confirmed at a later date. The total agreement for 36 aircraft is valued at $16 billion based on the latest list prices. Deliveries are to start as early as 2020. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. An elk brought down a helicopter that was attempting to capture it last week in Wasatch County, Utah, when it jumped into the aircraft's tail rotor, according to the Wasatch County Sheriff's Office. The aircraft, a Hughes 369D, was flying at an altitude of about 10 feet in a mountainous region of eastern Utah, attempting to drop a net on the animal. The Texas-based helicopter crew intended to capture and sedate the animal in order to place a tracking collar on it. There were two people on board the aircraft. Neither was seriously injured. 
The crew missed the animal with the net, then hovered low to the ground so that one of the crew members can jump out of the aircraft and hobble the elk. As the aircraft slowed down, the elk collided with the tail rotor. The accident caused damage to the rotor, the right skid, and underside of the aircraft. Mark Hadley of the Utah State Division of Wildlife said that helicopters are often used to monitor wildlife in remote areas of Utah. The accident is said to be the first of its kind associated with the program. State officials say they will review the accident, but it appears to be a fluke. After these messages, Gamma and Nata respond to President Trump's 2019 budget proposal. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. Gamma and Nada have joined a number of aviation advocacy organizations opposing the proposal in President Trump's budget that would shift control of ATC from the FAA to a private entity. The U.S. has the safest, most efficient, most technically advanced system in the world. Many other countries around the world utilize airspace system modernization technologies and procedures that the FAA designed and implemented, said Gamma President and CEO Pete Bunce. No other country has a nationwide deployed automatic dependent surveillance broadcast ground infrastructure. Similarly, the U.S. leads the world in deployment of data communications technology. The saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, most definitely applies here. Why do we need to disrupt an entire system and change it when the U.S. system is the safest, most efficient in the world? Despite strong bipartisan opposition to the corporization of our nation's air traffic control system, the 2019 budget blueprint contains language shifting the air traffic control function away from the FAA to a corporation, said NADA President Martin Hiller. NADA will continue to fight this existential threat to general aviation and businesses that support this vital community, supporting more than one million jobs nationwide. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend and see you Monday.